have you ever been vaping? And all of a sudden you get the no atomizer message. Well, before you get on the computer and start looking for a new device, check this out first. All right, it's happened to me before, sitting around vaping, and then all of a sudden, hit the button, draw, nothing. What's that? Look down, no atomizer, or check atomizer. What are you talking about? It's right there on the top. Well, don't freak out, don't panic. There's usually a quick and easy fix. So I'm gonna show you how to take care of it. All right, the first thing is real quick, the basics on how these things work. It will help you understand a little bit more. Okay, you got your mod, which is basically a box that holds a battery and some computer crappy and boards and chips and stuff in there. But uh, battery, your device, whether it be an atomizer, dripper, whether it be a tank similar to this one or anything, it's, it's all pretty much the same. It works the same way, but anyway. And then in there is a coil. Now, again, it may not be exactly like this. It may be smaller. It may be bigger. It may be just single strand, whatever, but there's a coil in there. And one of these legs goes into positive. One leg goes into the negative. And again, you hit the button. Power from the battery goes through here into the device that's screwed on the top, which goes to the coils, positive and negative. And then the circuit is complete and voila. It vaporizes the juice. So, if anywhere between the battery and the coils, there's a break in the connection, you will get the error message that says, no atomizer or check atomizer. So the first thing to check real quick and easy is the coil part, your coil. So if you have say a tank similar to this, I know this is an old one, but and there's a little coil in there change your coil i know you can't see it doesn't look like a coil in there but it's the same thing inside there is a little coil or if you make your own or if you order a bag of these and you put them in your dripper check it if there's a little break in the wire somewhere or even at the screw if the screw you know whatever boom no connection check your coil next thing to check is the screws on the top that hold your coil in if you have something similar to this or this sometimes those screws back off we don't know why shit happens we'll give them a little twist don't go cranking on them you'll know if they're snug or not then the next is the connection between your mod and whatever is on top and by the way if you're vaping on something older brand new or anywhere in between it will work with something like this if you have something like this but the battery is inside and you can't take it out and change the batteries or if you have something like this that's brand new has digital readout touch screen and all that stuff it all works the same it's all about that connection. So basically what you have is you have a box with a battery in it and you have a thing that holds liquid. That's right. <laughs> a battery box and some liquid. Doesn't sound like it would work too good together, does it? And you got sticky liquid. So what happens is this 510 connector on the top that receives the mail 510 connector here they meet and bridge the gap and make the connection it's all about the connection when you screw it on it makes a connection so there is a little pin in here that meets up with the pin on the bottom of your atomizer now over time we all know if you've been vaping a little while these things spit spatter 
you're dripping or you're filling your tank or whatever you get juice all over it runs down it's nice and sticky it's on your fingers you feel it and it runs down in underneath you know how liquids are they find a crack they go in it so the stuff's down in there so you got sticky juice down in there and you got dirt and just regular house dust and whatever else may be you drop it on the carpet you get a fuzzy you know come on it's life but all that sticky juice and whatever else gets in there and it forms like a little film or layer and it keeps these two from actually making a good connection so what you have to do is real simple do not do not dunk this in water get a swab you may call it a q-tip cotton swab whatever you call it get one of these some warm water or some alcohol and get it down in there real good and give it a good cleaning and you will find that you get some black gunky junk out of there so give it a good clean and there you go do the same thing with your other device dripper addy whatever give that a good clean make sure there's no sticky juice or goo or anything on there and if you have a floating 510 pin in here which means there's a pin on a spring and it actually moves up and down not a lot but it has some lead way so you can put different devices on here and if it meets up and it's setting up too high you can give it a couple more spins and the pin will actually go down on a spring and then when you take it off to change it or whatever it will pop back up however if it gets all gunked up and with juice and dirt and everything else and it gets stuck in a down position sometimes when you put your atomizer back on it doesn't make the what's the word that's right it's all about the connection so if this pin is stuck down and the pin on the bottom of this does not meet it and make contact it will not work when you put your push your button and you will get yes no atomizer check atomizer no atomizer found or whatever your little error message is so the cleaning should loosen any of the gunk if you got to get a little awl or a pick or something and poke at that and give a little push make sure it's springing up and down if it is a movable pin not all are but most are nowadays one last thing to check is your center post if you have a dripper atomizer your center post in this example is your positive the two outside ones are your negative for your dual coils but your center post is uh it's the one that goes basically the whole way through and does make the connection to your mod sometimes there's a little thermal ring in there that holds it in place if they degrade sometimes that middle pin your positive pin will pop up so just give it a push and make sure it is down and seated the whole way if this is the case you will either need to get one of the new thermal rings and do a repair on your own or get a new atomizer tank or whatever so there you have it it's pretty simple if you get that little check atomizer or no atomizer message go through those steps coil and give it a good clean because it's all about the connection now will this fix your problem 100 percent of the time definitely not no it will not as we talked about earlier this is a box that holds batteries and it has little computer boards and chips and all kinds of goodies in there and sometimes they fail sometimes if you dropped it once or twice the board or chip might have cracked or whatever sometimes that juice might have just found its way in there and just made a mess of thing you just never know but if you go through these quick little steps and check these simple things out first it just might save you from digging in your wallet I hope this helped you out this is blind views I want to thank you guys for watching and uh, Keep on vaping. That's the way I see it. What we do here is go back, 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 back.
clothes. 